Oh, oh he's no. breathing. No way, bro. Ah! Welcome back to Fred Toy Fans. We're here with another unboxing video. I got my boy Bob over here. He's always gonna be on the unboxing videos now because he helps me release the strap and he looks super happy. The other super happy person is right here, but I don't think you guys can see his lip. Can you see his lip from there? No? I'm over here. <laughs> got you, brother. You trying to say he's in the short? No, it's just the, the, the table is high. That's what it is. You know, even for me, look, I'm gonna have to tip the toe. But you're good? You don't I'm need good, it? I'm good, I'm good. We can just do this. All right, so you start with that box. Go ahead. What do we got here? Oh, you already uh, have it on here. Oh, nice. We got some big Indo tarpons here. They're bigger than last time too, right? Yeah. Last time we had a good size five, six inches. These are hitting no, almost seven. Last time there were six. It's about seven, yeah? It's about seven. All right. Very so we nice. got some nice tarpons in there. I want to I want to hear you say some of these names though. Well, see, I didn't order these, so I ordered. It. Yeah. Just cuz so I want to hear you know. say it. Uh I have no clue what this is. Right. It's a very pretty cichlid, nice red spots running throughout the body. Is this one right here? Pinto Viejo. Rigani. Ah, see? <laughs> I got it good. Ah, he, he's speechless. <laughs> So a viejo, a pinto, pinto is, is actually like a private part for a okay. man. A viejo is an old man. So you say, uh, okay. this is an old man's private part cichlid. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. So Whatever you can pronounce the next one then. How am I pronouncing that next one? Oh, that's, the, that's the problem. Tarpon, in the tarpon. This one, right? Okay, this is uh, actually very pretty. I'm not going to say the first word because I can't say it, but it's an Elliot cichlid. Elliot cichlid. Really pretty, huh? Yeah. Some nice blue, red. When I first looked at it, I thought it was a firemouth cichlid, but maybe firemouth. Yeah, we saw. Don't it. have that blue ring around the eye. That's pretty cool. It's a nice blue ring around the eye. All right. Gotta have the blue ring around the eye. So that's pretty much only three types in this box. Yep. Your box is kind of boring. Just the tarpon was cool though. Okay. So what do you got there? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. Excuse me, helper. Thank you. Oh. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Box number two. Ah, oh, it's dude. all taped up. No, I love when they do this. No. Okay, so here's the trick. Here's the trick. You just break it right here, and then if they went around. It goes all the way. See, there you go. See, and you don't have to destroy the box. But you can reuse it. Look at my nail. <laughs> Show your nail. Not much different. I cut my nails. <laughs> well, mine's a little shorter. But yeah, you you use your nails to pull the tape. Okay. These boxes are really making us look short. You know that, right? Well, and plus the cameraman's like 6'5", you know, it doesn't help. It's like our heads peeping over the top of the box. <laughs> whoa, whoa. whoa! Oh, these are the discus. Dude, this is the biggest discus I've ever seen in my life. Hey. These are the... Yo, hold on, look for comparison. Put it in front of your face. Next to my face? Okay. For Kevin had comparison? Dude, that's a huge... What is this, like a green discus? Wild no, green discus? No, it's not. Um, it's, we have two types. One is a royal, and another one is a, some type of wild red. This looks like to be like a royal. So it's not your common wild discus. Oh, this is the red. This is the royal. No, this is the oh, royal. Oh, this is the royal. The reds, the royals have the blue lines. So it's pretty nice. Jesus, pretty big, very good packing. Very happy with that. So far, so good. Whoa. Yeah, so this should be a red, because they have the solid body. It's and hard to see with the blue light though. Yeah. I think once they're in the tank settled in, we'll see the red show. I made it say yeah. blue water. All right. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This one's laying down a little bit, but mm -hmm. I think he's just shy. shy. I think they're all good. All right, well, maybe while we're unboxing, we should start acclimating these guys already. But they all look good, though. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Not that way. I was hoping for an all good shipment. Well, sometimes you get a weak one, and you, they, they just can't tell because they have so much fish. But one out of the whole box yeah. is not bad. A bad shipment is. If we got, well, we brought in 10, right? So if we had like five of them like that, then it'd be bad. What really bothers me though is the life of the fish. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if he was already in bad shape. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, yeah. let's go to box number two. I mean three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm done already. No. All right, go ahead. You don't have to wait for me. I want to see if you can open the tape. 
I, I will pull oh, my, my big old nail and try to do it. All right, okay. what do you got there? No breaking boxes. Okie dokie. I'm not reading newspaper today because I don't, don't speak, speak Portuguese. <laughs> uh, a bag and a bag. I think I'm gonna need that step ladder. <laughs> I trust you. I give it a shoot. All right, little bag. Little bags means little fish. Flecos. Oh. oh, they're very good shape. These are the the L27. Are these the gold line, the thunder? Either ones? that, or we have to look at the invoice. Well, look at those markings. It's it's a very nice, good color, good contrast. So this whole box is going to be the same thing, and we're just going to scan through a few bags, look at the general health of everything, and if they're going to look, if they're looking good, then we'll probably move on into some other boxes to see if anybody is this two levels? Help. It's two levels, yeah. But it should all be the same. Let's take a look at the other level. Oh, some chicken. Some <laughs> chicken. Chicken eggs. Nice, so far I like the packing. Yeah, very professional. Okay, so more of the same guys. They all look good. I think these guys might all be good. Yeah. Good job, good job. All right, that was my box, now your box. Oh, my box. Oh, Ooh, some job. good in my box. <laughs> <laughs> no show that Lisa. Okay. Let's see. I remember my first unboxing videos here, we had like, kind of like what we're doing now. Uh -huh. We didn't have an acclimation station yet. It was a pain, so this is definitely a pain. Piccolita? No, these are the, uh, the L75, I think. Oh, the, 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 the Para, the yeah, Para yeah, Pleco? Pico, yeah. Almost look like a Piccolita. The Piccolitas have the, the stripes, these have the spots. The Piccolitas that come from Colombia have the spots. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Because Piccolitas, I think, it's uh, in comes from multiple countries in South America. Beautiful Pleco, though. It looks like a little leopard. I like these guys. So you think this is gonna be a whole box of, of these guys? It should be, yeah. I think we have like 50 of them. Oh, we, we went all out, huh? <laughs> well, at least they're all alive, which is good. That's a nice big one. Oh. Yeah, and the bellies are good too. Cause that's one hey, don't thing be that... laughing at what I say, bro. I was talking about the fleck. No. <laughs> I see you behind the okay. camera. You see the belly? Oh yeah. It's it's full. So a lot of times plecos come in with sunken bellies and that's... Uh, not a good sign and uh, the fish might not do as well but these all look really fat and healthy yep well, they all I have a nice belly so we have this monster box that's under there on the comments below let me know where you guys think it's under there right now i mean you didn't want to get it i wanted to get it yeah right let's see if it was worth it it's it's pretty cool i think it's pretty cool but before we get to him we got three other boxes to do i'm gonna jump on this Oh. Back up, bro. That's how you treat the new cast member? That's what he's good for. He's got no limbs. What else is he good for? So he, can, he can't fight back. Yeah. So you like to pick on people that can't fight back. I see. I mean, wouldn't you? Yeah, I guess. And <laughs> if I had to pick on somebody, <laughs> at least they're not going to hit back. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not a bully. Just a Bob. I don't like that name very much. Is your uncle named Bob? Nope. <laughs> Nobody I know named Bob. <laughs> How did you come out with Kevin? That's my dad. Why are you asking me? Because <laughs> you should ask him. You know. Do you, you like on the on the honest? Like, do you have another name? No, that's my legal name at birth. So how do you say that in Chinese? Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin. Ah. Okay. Oh, that okay. Yeah, ah at the end. So really, like when you go to China, they say, "Oh, what's your name?" Like Kevin. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Always this was, a, I, it was a legit question. I don't know. I think that's the front. I think it's a different name. I'll jump on your box. Oh, bro. he's peeking. Uh, peeking uh, in your uh, box. Touching your box. Okay. <laughs> I bet you. I bet you this box is the better fit then. Okay. You already read something somewhere? No. See? Oh, I got a beautiful girl. Well, that's she was there in the last box. Ooh. Oh, so this this looks more lighter than the last one, right? 
and golden. So you think maybe that's the golden one? Um, it's, I think it's the same one, but they're, they're bigger. They do look similar. Yeah. So this whole box. But this here. might be a half box only. There could be something different on the bottom. Oh, this, this, oh, wait, this, oh uh, yeah, it looks the same. Okay, so let me take this out and then see. You want to jump to your box while I'm pulling this out? So then, I can already guess. These got to either be the uh, the sunshines, I think, or oh, the... Oh, no, no, no. Did we get sunshines? No, we didn't get sunshines. I think we got mangoes. Okay. Let's see. Oh, see, there's two bags here. So it's split. Well, I got double the fun. Oh, this one doesn't have much water, but it is the mangoes. Whoa. Well, this one has more water, so they didn't put enough water in this one. But they're looking good. Mangoes are the L47, and uh, they're pretty much solid black with a nice yellow trim on the top of the, the fin, which is pretty cool. But once yeah. we get them in the tank, they look really nice. See, I this gotta do a bigger. surgery real quick. Oh, yeah. We okay. Yeah. Let's do a lot. Hold on. So more mangoes here. Let's get to the second bag here. Ugh. Oh, nope, it's more mangoes. Alright, so I think this whole top level are mangoes. Good? You good over yeah, there? Yeah. Well, I knocked them there. Uh oh. Damn, all the big ones, they need help. Come on, come on. Let me show you how to do it, dude. So what yeah, are you going to do? Mouth to mouth. Mouth to mouth. <laughs> you need a straw? <laughs> okay. They're a little, you know, a little crispy. All right. Anybody needs help? Ooh, that's a big one here, dude. Damn. I hate that. I hate when I see fish like that. But I think a good thing is plecos are very strong. So. Mm, not this guy. No. No. Put him in the water. Let's see what happens. He's looking more like you. Oh, yeah. he's breathing. He's see, breathing. there you go. <laughs> see, a lot of times that's actually good to know because a lot of times you might think your fish is dead. And you put them in the water and let them go back to normal because they go into like a uh, hibernation mode, right? Yeah, it Some depends way. what the reason is. If it's lack of oxygen, sometimes getting them back in there will help them come back. Sometimes it's too cold and they, they go into that hibernation thing. Um, I think as long as their body's not stiff, then it's a good bet that if you put them in water, you have a chance. Like he looks stiff, right? But let's see. Yeah. Well, you don't think this one will make it? I think if the other two were good, I think they're good. It's just like right there. Maybe they packed it earlier than the rest of the fish. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I saw that CPR there. You see that little little <laughs> pump he gave it? Right? Give the heart a, a little jolt there. We gotta make sure these guys are alive. We'll be right back. What do we got? Oh. Look at this. Oh no, there's water in it. So right now, there's so many of the same fish that we're just gonna acclimate them on this tub because we don't have an acclimation station yet. So we'll put them all here so we can get the process started. The other ones, I think Kevin took them into the back. I don't know what he's doing with them. Hopefully they're gonna make it, but we do have a couple hundred right here. So we're gonna put the camera down again, see if these guys, well actually these are all doing good. So we're just gonna acclimate them and then we can jump to the last three boxes. It's your box. I got no, no, box. no, no, no. Go ahead. Okay, you want to take the big box? Yeah, I, I ordered him. All right, let's see. You look so short, dude. I know. It's I'm like tiptoeing over here. There you go. <laughs> now I look big. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, more plecos. These are gold nuggets. Oh, that's the one I was telling you about. Oh, but shoot. If their spots are bigger, which these are, these are actually the L177 yellow seam. So it looks very similar to the gold nugget, but has bigger yellow spots. So they're That's like more difference. rare or something? I wouldn't say more rare. I think prettier fish and cost this a little bit more. This got little, little Yeah, spots. this guy's got... Oh. <laughs> this guy got little spots, so this would be considered gold nugget. So let's give them a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see the difference. Right? So the smaller one has bigger spots. And he's doing some twirl right, there. Yeah, maybe we yeah. should get him out. All right. <laughs> so I think this is all golden nuggets. 
Yeah, the mix of the gold nuggets and the 177. Ooh, look at the size of this beast. <laughs> yeah, that's a big boy. Yeah. So, let's go yeah, ahead. Looks good. Very pretty. Oh, that one's a this nice one's one. Nice, yeah. yeah. See, that's if I was gonna buy one, that one right there. Yeah. Now, watch. People are gonna be like, I want that, that one, one, Rod. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna find it, man. And Bob. <laughs> Oh, this is a big one, nice one too. Ooh. See, bigger spots. Oh, I'll take in that one too. I like the little ones more though. They're cuter. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is the monster guy, so. Big Pleco guy out here. Oh. Yeah, but they are. They have like, it's like mini dinosaurs with different colors, you know? Pretty cool. All yeah. right, let's acclimate them. And then we go to the monster one here. That one's the I, all yours. I don't think you guys figure out. Go ahead. I don't have gloves to. Gloves? You're giving it away now. Now they know it's something dangerous. Oh, it's a catfish. Piranha. That needs gloves. It's got teeth. Alligator? Could be. I, I mean, we want to get an alligator eventually. I don't even know if that's allowed here, but we're going to figure it out. Oh, dude, there's a label on this side. <laughs> yeah, right. Matt, why do we take the labels out, Matt? Oh, well, because it's our secrets, and that's it. Yeah. You want you want these fish? Wait. So now he knows where we get the fish from. Show him what would happen. Show to Bob Woo. what would happen if he told people what. <laughs> I'm not a violent guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then why the Kevin, hell we have Bob for? Uh, I appreciate it, Kevin. You're not you gonna take me out. In the future. <laughs> the donation bucket is going to be right here under his hands. <laughs> so the freight alone on this box. The freight alone on this box is double those box. So we're looking mucho buck here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't break it. <laughs> oh, you better not box. break no. this box. The magician right now. We'll be right back. We're back. All right, let's make it exciting, bro. Come on, come on. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, be alive, be alive, be alive. No way, bro. <laughs> and he said this is not even the biggest one. How am I? Wait, 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 wait. It's ridiculous. For us to be impressed, is he full of spikes? Yes. Is yes. he alive first, though? Let me see. Ah! Don't no, touch it, dude. <laughs> I don't want to take you to urgent care today. Dude, he doesn't look alive. Oh, he's still breathing, but he might need help. Oh. Bro, if he moves, he's going to open up my hand. Whoa. Oh, dude. He's catching on the bags. Oh, dude. Come we on, have dude. gloves over here. No, bro, I got to show that on my man, you know? Oh. Holy <laughs> cow. Yep, he's breathing. You see the gills pumping right there. This is a major... And that's his name too, right? Major. major something major. So let's, dude, he's not breathing very fast, so we gotta put him here with the little guys. Just for a comparison, look at this fish. Compare. Just sit that one right on top of it. I know. <laughs> Trying to get a little guy. Everybody's scared. Look at this little dude. I think you're right in front of the light, Matt. Move this way a little bit. There you go. Oh, yeah. This guy is huge. Dude, that's insane. Look how wide though. And he said they can even get bigger ones than this. So how big did they get in the wild? Probably like three feet? I believe so, yeah. And that's what I want. Because wow. he said that uh, this is what, 60? About 60 centimeters? Six, that, that's two, two, a little bit over two feet? Yeah, right. and then he said he can get up to 85. Yeah, I guess that's two feet. Can you imagine, dude, that fin at 85 is probably like up to here. Half that fin was out of the water in the box. I was like, I know, he's gonna, have, he's gonna have to be treated a little bit to make sure that uh, he's in good health. But what a beautiful, now, now it was worth it? It was impressive. Okay, good. Okay, I'll give, it, I'll give you that much. It was impressive. <laughs> is that what Ryan does at home? <laughs> well, that was a good shipment. I, I think like, I waited so, Long for this box. I mean, the little plecos are great. Be you yawning? With oh. all of this going on? Oh. She's like, boys and their toys. I just don't understand <laughs> it sometimes. You should see her face when I pulled that out of the water. 
It's like looking at Matt for the first time. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. flattered. Yeah, oh. We hope you guys enjoyed. It was a lot of fun, a lot of uh, bags. Which, can we even cycle these? Probably not. I don't know. Plastic? Well, we try our best to save whatever we can save, like yeah. the big bags, whatever we can reuse. Yep. But now it's time the real fun begins because now, see, that's not the only thing. We have to order, import, acclimate, put it away, take pictures, put it on the website, pack, ship. It's a lot that goes on until you guys get these fish. Yeah, I mean, this is the fun part, the unboxing, but everything that led up to this point and everything that's gonna happen after this <laughs> point is a lot of work. I mean, you can, Matt, you can give them a quick look. It's like ridiculous here. The mess afterwards, the final bag, the wet floors. Bob. Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Don't slip. So, um, if you slip, you're trespassing, right? That's it. You heard that, Bob? <laughs> that's it. Well, good job. All right. Good job, Tasha. Good job. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> so, that was the. You, you promised them three shipments, right? We did Brazil. We did uh, Africa. Yeah, we did Africa. Brazil. Brazil. And then. We got that one more then. We got one more. So, All right. Mm -hmm. So, now we. Let me uh, make an order right now. I'll see you guys next time. All right.